Guys, today, whole different video. We're gonna talk about the DJI Mini. Stay tuned, should be a good episode. First off, guys, I'd just like to say that I am not sponsored by DJI. I would love to be, but I'm not. Uh, nothing that I do in videos is sponsored as of today. So if you're watching this for the first time, um, this is just my opinion on after purchasing this drone. Um, it's not really going to be a review, just kind of just specs and uh, my impressions of it. So it's more of an impressions video. Um, first of all, it is tiny. It is so tiny. That's the iPhone 12 Pro. That is the DJI Mini. It's tiny. Uh, I think, you know, one of the selling points to this drone is, is that it's uh, 249 grams, which is uh, the legal limit before you actually have to register a drone. Uh, so it's great for uh, somewhat of a toy, but it also does pretty good aerial photography. Um, as you can kind of see, I'm going to be cutting the different clips and just giving you my kind of my overview of, of some of the uh, raw images that it's producing. Um, it's a great drone. It's a great first drone. If you're looking at any drone and you have $500 to spend, this drone will certainly appeal to you. Um, you know, it comes with a great little carrying case. Um, you know, has all the bells and whistles, more propellers, uh, the three axis gimbal, um, three batteries, which I'm actually charging right now. Um, a little battery case like this and uh, with three batteries in it and these are all very light and then a joystick that's very comfortable on your hands holds your phone very well um, the first rendition you could tell I had the other drone the Mavic Mini and you know the cord didn't fit right uh, just the housing to hold your phone wasn't real comfortable if you had a case on uh, so you can tell that they've innovated over the years and that's something about DJI that I really like if they make a mistake or, or There's a better way of doing it. They just change it now The bad side to that is is that every two years you may have to buy a new drone Which can get a little frustrating if you're me or the average consumer that uh, is tired of spending money on these drones, but you know uh, I like to have the next best thing so uh, and also to make better content. And this drone will do that very well. Uh, stay tuned. Here's some uh, shots uh, of me uh, flying a drone around my neighborhood. And it uh, should give you a better idea what it actually looks like. Uh, I can tell you the response time was unbelievable. Uh, the first rendition of this drone uh, on my mated voyage, I almost lost it. This one, I because uh, it just the camera just stopped working onto the phone, which made it very difficult to find the drone because it is so tiny. So if it's flying further away, then that, that can be a real, real, real bit of a problem if you can't find it on your screen or your screen just shuts off. Um, it has a little small micro SD card. You also have a charging port on here in the event that you don't get the fly more combo that comes with three batteries, but I suggest just doing that. They do uh, run for 31 minutes flying time, which if you got a drone up there for 31 minutes, you better be capturing a lot of stuff. I, you know, at most I may have like a 10, 12 minute increment of a video. And then you only use about two seconds of that shot because if you're looking at a drone for more than two or three seconds, your eyes start to kind of go, ah, this is bugging me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, overall, it's a great drone. I do recommend buying one. If you are in the market for drones, I would go DJI every time I've had a couple other toyish style drones and honestly, they're impossible to fly. You can't track them. The camera quality is awful. Everything is great on that. DJI has perfected that. And, and I think it's a great company. So, um, stay tuned.
right, guys, to summarize the video, DJI makes a great first drone. I would um, highly, highly suggest picking this up if you have. Actually, the Fly More combo is $599 right now. Um, and I highly suggest getting that because you're going to end up buying these other things. Unless literally you're just using this for, you know, a 30 minute run and that's all you're ever going to use it for. Having these extra batteries is great, especially being out on the water. I do a lot of aerial shots over lakes and things like that. And, uh, you know, you never know when uh, your batteries are going to run out if you're on an eight hour trip. So they fill up the void. Controller's great. All the little toys and gadgets on this that help um, fly this bad boy. And also the response time is fabulous. I've never, you know... The, I've owned three drones and uh, three DJI drones, and this is probably by far the best one I've owned in terms of how quick it responds to the controls that you're doing, you're giving it. Uh, if you want to go up or down, it's do, 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 as soon as you hit the stick. Um, and the other drones, I can tell you, weren't like that. So pick it up. You can get it on Amazon. You, Amazon tends to be a little cheaper, but you may have to wait a couple days to get it. Um, Apple sells uh, DJI uh, regularly, and uh, then you can get it on DJI's website as well. Price points, Best Buy, that's where I actually picked this one up. Um, they're all about that same price. You may Amazon may carry a little bit of a discount, so try Amazon. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you subscribe, share, like. If you'd like to see more of these videos, let me know down in the comments. If you hate them, let me know that, too. Uh, there's definitely some haterade that floats around on the YouTubes. Everybody's better at it than I am. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned, guys. Got videos coming down the pipelines. Look forward to hearing from you.